Hello, today we're going to have a look to this little RF power meter from Banggood. It has no name, it has no instruction manual sended with it, but you will see it's pretty straightforward to find out how to use it. So we're going to test the health of a 2.4 VTX, a white point two VTX and a brand new 5.8 VTX and I will show you in this video how to use it. First, <clears throat> so this little RF power meter is delivered with a very nice USB cable that is used to be powered it has a little switch, turn it on and off. It has no attenuator, that's why I've added one. This is how it comes out of the box, okay? So you have five buttons to move down, forward and enter. This is not <coughs> a frequency meter, so it will not tell you what frequency is used. On the transmitter so you have to know what transmitter uh, what frequency you're in okay you can put signal up to 2 watts on the input but for security reason I'd rather use the 30 dB attenuator which divide the signal by a thousand but this RF meter gives you the possibility you see the offset to tell him, hey, I've got an attenuator, so you can set it to the um, attenuation you're using. Okay, let's start. First, this is how it works. You need to set the frequency that you're using. So we're going to start by the 5.8. So up, press here. You change the attenuator, then you go back up. Okay, so let's put five fifty eight hundred up, 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 up. Okay, fifty eight hundred. So transmitter, attenuator, power meter. So as you can see, it says thirty two point. 5 dBm. So this RF power meter doesn't give you, doesn't calculate uh, the output in milliwatt. It stayed in dBm, which is decibel milliwatt. So what you have to do once you have the value, you have to go on the website or you can use some paper chart which have everything pre written and you enter 31. Let's put 31, convert, and it's 1.58, 258 milliwatts, or it's 1.2 watts. Okay, this is not legal. Of course, you should be using 25 milliwatts. Okay, now we're going to try something else. This is my first VTX, 1.2, you know, this classic long-range VTX. So, I wanted to see how healthy this little body is. So, VTX, attenuator, and RF meter. Before pour it, pour the VTX, you have to change. So I'm going to go down to 1300 25 dBm which is 316 milliwatts 
I think that was a 400 millivolts. And now we're gonna try what's supposed to be uh, 700 2.4 VTX. So we need to change the value. We can leave the okay. Thirty point nine. Hey, let's say thirty one dBm. which is 1.2 milliwatts. Huh. It's much more than what it should be. Ah, oh, never mind. What is great about this little RF per meter? It's cheap, it's less than 40 bucks, and you can measure from 1 megahertz to 8 gigahertz with no interruption. It's small, pretty easy to use. People are complaining that there's no instruction manual, but hey, you don't really need it. Just use your brain. It's called Frio, and um, this is it. Well, if you have any question about it, just leave me a message, and I will reply. Thanks for your attention, and fly safe. Bye-bye.